it's going to be a long road. There's a lot of damage. Gilbert's Resort, one of the first gems as you enter the Florida Keys under a milky cover of water. South to Snappers in Key Largo, a beloved restaurant for locals, and it is destroyed. Storm surge on the ocean side battered its docks. There's roof damage in Long Key, Duck Key Marina missing parts of its roof. Mobile homes in Marathon toppled like toys. But the worst of the damage is likely where Irma made landfall in Kudjo Key and near Sugarloaf and Summerland. Baby's Coffee, a local favorite, decimated. After flooding receded in Key West, Governor Rick Scott toured the damage. Some homes destroyed. Every uh, trailer park, they're overturned. See, I don't, I don't think I saw one trailer park that every, almost everything wasn't overturned. But the owner of a coffee shop there says Old Town Key West fared better than expected and even rode out the storm inside her business. What did it sound like? Where were um, you? I was um, upstairs in the business downstairs, but both places at the time when I was upstairs that you can hear the howling and the blowing. It was pretty intense. Wow. Look at that. And then here are your senators, Bill Nelson and Marco Rubio. They are in uh, an aerial tour right there, taking a look at Florida and really going over the keys, um, seeing exactly what Irma did, the power of that Category 4 storm. The areas hit hardest, especially as that eye wall passed through the lower keys. But those hurricane force winds extending all the way into the upper keys, into Miami-Dade County, County, rather. And as our senators were looking at this, this is their state. This is who they represent in Washington, D.C. Senator Bill Nelson's uh, first reactor to the amount of emergency and people that would need to rebuild was shocking. $15 billion is only going to last us a few weeks. Uh, middle of October, we'll have to do another emergency supplemental appropriations. The total cost of this rebuild is going to be exponential. Hundreds of billions of dollars. He said 15 billion would only last weeks. He said also he's hearing some really remarkable stories about people helping each other. I'm proud of Floridians because they really came together. Just like that university that we flew over, they found 12 senior citizens abandoned in a nursing home and the students took them into the dormitory to take care of them. They took 250 more people from that little town of Immokalee had no place to go in the middle of, of the eye coming right here. And uh, they gave them a shelter. That's people taking care of people. And I'm proud of what Floridians did. Both of those senators were escorted on a U.S. Coast Guard C-130 airplane.